Welcome to McWhorter Stadium at Clemson as ACC play gets underway for the Tigers and the NC State Wolfpack. Hi, everybody. Fred Cunningham along with numbers. I mean, they got 300 and 400 hitters all over the place. Grounder will be handled by Alex Brown. She comes up throwing one away. And that's what you want to do if you're out to Hasler. McCubbin gets her first strikeout swinging. Took a little bit off of it that time. That was a nice. Ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. And it's a one, two, three inning for Brooke McCubbin. God, it was just miserable here at Clemson yesterday, but what a difference today for this doubleheader. Fly ball, that is deep, and that is going to be beyond the grasp of Goins and center field. Brown will come in and come in head first, sliding a leadoff triple for Alex Brown. 1-1 one, one pitch, fly ball, left center field, back deep. It's going to be just at the fence, a great catch by Ensley, but it is deep enough to get the run across the sack fly by Clark. Across comes Brown, one nothing Clemson. Lee just went up and said, no, no, no. Watch this. That ball's hit high and long. Clark thinks it's gone. She gives it but a But Inslee does a great job out there, and you see that? She pulled it back in. Saved a run. She's, a, like I said, a generational talent. Not only one of the best players on this team. And she slaps that one for a base hit off the glove of her former teammate, Hannah Goodwin, at third. It's a one-out single for Kegel. And that's something that she does very well. She went the opposite way with center, uh, Allie during her time out there. Kegel going as Moore pops it up for the foul ball out. So there's two away. Good job. In the metrics, Kegel is going, and that's going to be a liner right at the shortstop, Marbury, to retire the side. But the Tigers pick up a run. It's a fun game to watch, and right now the Tiger fans enjoying it with the lead. Goodwin grounds it to Brown. Brown the throw across. Did not get there in time, so good hustle by wow. Anna Goodwin down the line. It's early in the year, and the line is not as straight as I normally like to see it. <laughs> it was kind of a, a crooked line. Agreed, agreed. They got some and, work to do there. Yep, and just like last week, I noticed that some of the fans were dropping foul walls, and so. The jam here early for McCubbin. Goins lays down the bunt. It is picked up by Kegel. They get the force. They advance the two runners. So the job is done by Goins. And that was a hitting 459. Not a lot of RBI, but she's down in the order. And she takes that one for a walk, and the bases are loaded. The Cubbin had only walked four batters coming in. in order. You got the eight hole hitter up. And that's going to be a strike called, and then a quick whip back, and they almost got Goodwin. They called a strike. You could see Ensko starting to go down to first. Yeah. Cooper called strike, and then Goodwin started coming to home thinking she was going to score. There is your ball four, though, and that will bring in the run, and we are tied at one. And still a huge miss. Sisters. And she also saved a home run in the first inning. The Inslee sisters playing left and right, and she's going to lift that ball in for a hit. It drops in front of Oda. One run will come across, and that's it. But it's a RBI single for Tori Inslee and the Wolfpack. Are go Just enough of it to fall between the third baseman and the left fielder, but it counts. It drives in a run. It was hit softly enough that there was no chance of the runner at second base. Scoring, but now John Rittman's coming out. Box two hits. I believe that's correct. Maybe more than that. Three walks. Three walks. And that is a base hit. One run will score, but then the runner at third will hold up. Everybody is safe. One run is in, though, but it's an RBI single for Marbury, and it's 3-1 Wolfpack. And these things happen when you get behind sharply. Oda does a really good job of hustling up and getting that ball back in. Great job of base coaching that time by Coach Leftwich. She had a clean. Thompson's 2-1. Grounder gets through this time. That'll get a run, but only one. But still, it's an RBI single for Hasler, and it's 4-1 NC State. And the Tigers right now are getting killed 60 feet at a time. Well, after single. 
You'll see right here the ball right through the five six hole. We've seen several of those this inning. Coach Cleffitz has got her, got her wound up and puts the brakes on her again. Now there's getting ahead in the count. That's what you got to do if you're going to pick. You still got to be ready to drive a ball. And she drives that pass shortstop. This time they will send two runners. They will both get across. And you got runners now at second and third, and NC State has put six on the board here in the second. And they have struck and struck like lightning. Very, very close. I will not say out of hand because the Tigers still have six at bats, but a five run lead is very difficult to come back from. There's a fly ball coming in for it is Mackenzie Clark. There's going to be no throw or no attempt to get home. Not going to run on Clark in that situation. She caught the ball right on the tiger paw. Yeah. State started to send the runner, but then one ball, two strikes. Check swing, the appeal to third, strike called, and the side is finally retired. But the Wolfpack bat around and put six on the. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Lungaleo sends the first pitch of the second out of the ballpark. But it's gonna actually come, it was actually in. It hit the very top of the yeah, wall, Fred. Did come back in, but Lungaleo, we didn't even get a chance to introduce her. She sends the first pitch of the bottom of the second for a double. If you watch this, I thought it was gone too, but it hit the very top. Yeah. Missed a home run by three and a half inches. Mm. Did drop back in as you can see, but she's got power. And this is somebody they're trying to get into the lineup just to shake things up. Takes a big cut and strikeout number one for Wesselman in the top of the inning. Friends, you may remember there's 45 excellent umpires right behind home plate. They've never missed a call. And they let you know if you do. <laughs> <laughs> it is a one out walk to Hyatt. 2-2. Two -two. And that's going to go right into the hands of Wesselman, and she's able to get the double play as they get the base runner at first. The Tigers get a couple of boards. And she's got a base hit now. So she's had a good day at the plate, and it's a leadoff single here for the Wolfpack in the third. Michelle Tarpey, who walked the first time up, she lays down a ground ball. Brown will get it to get the force at second, so they get the lead runner away. I'm going to stroke for a moment because I was watching the play. I started seeing all these spots behind her. That's going to be a, just a pop-up that's going to be easily handled by Lund Game is much, much tighter. 2-2 Two -two pitch, grounder. Lungaleo gets it, gets the force. And the side's retired. State got a leadoff runner aboard, but nothing across. We go to the bottom of the third. Ernie Banks once said, it's a great day to play two, and we are. Kind of a check swing, and it's going to drop in as Brown is now two for two, and it's another leadoff hit for the Tigers. Still is just so uh, unusual. And that's going to go right to the right fielder, Taylor Ensley, for the first out of the inning. Kegel striking out. Here we go again. And that is going to be a strike called, and that retires the side. Second straight inning. Clemson has got a runner aboard to that huge second inning for the Wolfpack. Fly ball. Kegel calls for it, takes about two steps, and there's one down. That's a good out to get of the last two and we're just the second day of March but oh. it, it's been all just hits and then taking advantage of walks as they pop this one up. Well if you look down in the third base coaching box you'll see a big reason of that because I say that a lot when I play. <laughs> I say that all the time. I blame Titleist. 0-2 grounder. Moore's got it and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Thompson and the Tigers. Yes. 
Three one pitch. And she'll walk so the Tigers have now in each of these four innings have gotten. She sent it to the right field side. This time it will go off the fence. You can see the effort by Garcia to get to third with good hustle and the Tigers get a single from Lungaleo and then She lays off it, and that's a walk on four pitches. Bases are loaded. No, she's down behind now the count, 2-0. and oh. And Hyatt delivers. Oh, my goodness, what a chance at a double play. And they get both. They get the, wow. Soft liner right to the first baseman. I love what she did. She just laid down on the bag. She didn't try to outrun her. I think she'd have beat her anyway, but I, that was, I mean, 2-2 two, two pitch. And that's going to be a shot right at Marbury at short, and the Tigers get nothing across. Clemson had the grounder handled by Lungaleo, the throw to Kegel. And down goes Goodwin. Two strikes. Goins is on deck for NC State. Fly ball. Lungaleo calls for it. And there's two down. Corey of Notre Dame University there in South Bend, Indiana, where I know it's colder as there's a fly ball. Clark will call off Lungaleo, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's been so clean that they've, they've turned two double plays, and they've endured just about everything you can. Oh, there was a play right there. Lambrick gets it to Tarpey. There's a bunch of people wearing orange and purple. Ooh, we can slow that down just a little bit. There you go. There we are, and she is safe. Sometimes. And they do. There's your official. She is safe. Deal one. Fly ball. Tori Ensley. Brings it in, first out of the inning. Yep. And if you, uh, it's coming in in relief. Grounder, it's gonna be trouble for Lambrick and everybody's safe. I think that goal is a base hit. She knocked it down, but that was just about all she could do. At least they haven't so far. Fly ball, center field, Gorms comes over, gets it. Runners cannot advance. And there's two down. Fly ball. Calling for it is Goins in center field. And the Tigers get the leadoff runner aboard. In fact, two hits in the inning. The sixth inning, NC State leading Clemson 6-1. Michelle Tarpey at the plate. Drives it straight at Mackenzie Clark. Well, first out of the inning. 1-1 one, one pitch, popped it up. Calling for it is Alex Brown, who takes about one step, second out of the inning. And I know it's a big At Georgia, and then come home and play Tennessee. Well, Brown ball is sent to Mungaleo, and they're able to get the base runner, Ensley, out. Tori Ensley, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. With this Clemson ball club throughout her career. Pops it up. Almost to the warning track goes Goins, but she hauls it in for the first out of the inning. When you've only got six outs to go, tell you something, that's a Cadillac. He's about, you know, you and him are about as smooth as it gets. <laughs> Takes a big cut and goes down swinging, two down. You must be good because our minister thinks you are. Fly ball, and it's going to go right to Goins, and Clemson is done in the sixth. One, two, three for the Wolfpack. Going to the seventh inning. It's joined 2024 more than 2023. Lays down a bunt. Thompson comes up throwing. Cagle drops the ball at first. Well, that was odd. Yes. I don't know if she was screened by the line. Pops it up. Cagle calls for it in foul territory. First out of the inning. There you go. 
football. So tomorrow's going to be a full day on this end of campus. No question. Ground ball, Brown. Brown with the throw to second, and they're able to get the lead runner out, and there's two down. That was a bang bang. And I love what Coach Leftwich is doing. 3 1. And they walk her. Well, you, it, you do have a base open there. But that certainly does. You don't want to do that. And I think they're going to. And they're certainly believing they win. I mean, Five they ball. They think they're supposed to win. Well, they're three outs away from taking game one of two. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's six one base. Craig Hyde said strike. O to O for two, and she's down one and two. Takes a called third strike. He hits in three times at the plate, including a triple. There's a one that's hit deep center field, but it's hit at Goins, and there's two down, and the Tigers are down to their final out. Game two of our doubleheader will start roughly 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one, and this might conclude it. Popped up into the hands of Goodwin, the former Clemson Tiger, makes the final put out at NC State, comes into McWhorter Stadium and takes the first game of the weekend double, or it's weekend series, and they did it big, 6-1 over the Tigers.